Hey everyone, it's Alicia Malone. Welcome to another episode of Fandango's Indie Movie Guide, the show where I guide you through the smaller films that are playing in theatres, the ones that nobody else is talking about but are worth watching. Let's start with a film called Lost in Paris. It's from my Aunt Martha. Dear Fiona, help. After 48 years living in Paris, they want me to move to an old people's home. Ridiculous. I'm only 88. You've always wanted to go to Paris. Yeah. This is so wonderful. It stars the burlesque duo called Abel and Gordon. He is Dominique Abel and she is Fiona Gordon. Together they create these wonderful movies which really are homages to the slapstick comedies of old Buster Keaton, Charlie Chaplin, those kind of movies that just don't exist anymore. Her aunt is played by the late Emmanuel Riva and this is such a great movie for her last film. Meanwhile there's this homeless guy who finds her bag and decides to spend her money and wear her clothes and the two end up having dinner at the same place and coincidences and mayhem and madness abound. Stop following me! It's just a wholesome comedy with some very funny visual gags and I love a comedy and a romance about two very awkward people, probably because I'm pretty awkward myself. I absolutely adored Lost in Paris, so make sure you try to find it if it's playing near you. <laughs> A movie that was actually out last week, but I wanted to tell you about it, is called Megan Levy, or Megan Levy, if you are in America. It's based on a true story and stars Kate Mara as a young Marine corporal who ends up having to look after the K-9 unit. She comes across this dog, Rex, who is very aggressive. She forms a bond with him, becomes this great trainer, and the two really work to heal each other. You think I'm afraid of you? Lay down. Rex, lay down. Yeah, that might sound cheesy, and it kind of is. It's a little bit manipulative in terms of the way it goes for your emotion, but damn, it's good at it. I mean, take your tissues to this one. I'm a sucker for any movie about animals, and this really shows another side to war, one that you don't see very often. All the tissues, all the tissues, trust me. Please just change his classification so that I can adopt him when he gets back. They aren't pets, they're warriors. No! This is directed by Gabriella Cowperthwaite, who was the same director behind Blackfish, that documentary from a couple of years ago about SeaWorld. So obviously she has a great affinity for animals and that really shines through here. What would you say to Rex if he were here? I'd thank him for teaching me what love is. Now to another film which has a title, which is a woman's name beginning with M. It's also directed by a woman. It is Morty, based on a true story, and it stars Sally Hawkins. I sold the house. Our house? Maud, Mom left it to me. I'd look after it. You can't look after yourself. I'd get a job or something. A job? A job doing what? I don't... No! She plays a woman called Morty who has a horrible arthritis condition. She's been disabled since she was very, very young. And she ends up getting a job as a housekeeper for the very gruff Everett played by Ethan Hawke. There's, there's me, them dogs, them chickens, then you. You want me here, don't you? Because I walk out right now. I told you you could paint fairies on the wall. I think it looks all right. Did you paint that happy little chicken? Yeah, wanted to remember his happier days. The two end up forming this romance and it's a testament to the actors that this whole relationship is pulled off. Because Ethan Hawke's character on the surface is not sympathetic at all, but somehow Ethan Hawke makes him very likeable and you do feel pity for him. Mm. Can I get you to look towards the camera this way, Mr. Lewis? And a smile, maybe? And it's a testament to Sally Hawkins that she plays such a fragile character that you never feel pity for. You can do much better than me. Than everything I want with you, Ev. And it's a testament to the director Ailing Walsh, as well as the screenwriters, that this whole thing is pulled off without being sentimental. It's an inspiring true story about using art to overcome adversity. You can see Morty in limited theatres right now. <sighs> And last but not least, an interesting film called The Journey. Do I recognize you from somewhere? 
This is Dr. Ian Paisley, leader of the Democratic Unionist Party. And this is Martin McGuinness of the Irish Republican Army. These men are anarchy. They are the troubles. On the surface, this movie could almost be a buddy comedy where you have two people who are on opposite ends of the spectrum who really don't like each other and they're forced together and they end up discovering that they have more similarities and differences. It's based on real people, but it's a made up version of what could have happened. It's actually a very interesting look at politics. At the end of this, either we hold the peace or we go back to war. Do you have nothing on your conscience at all? We were fighting a civil war. Just like you, there are nothing like me. It does seem to tick off a lot of the same beats as those buddy movies, but I found it really fascinating, particularly because it's a great showcase for the actors. You can see The Journey in limited theaters now. This is our only opportunity to build something that will last. We are Ireland. So there you have it, four very different films for you to watch this weekend. Try to find the slapstick romance Lost in Paris, the tearjerker Megan Levy, the sweet but not sentimental Morty, or the fascinating political drama The Journey. And as always, let me know what you've been watching, what you're looking forward to seeing. I love to hear from you. I'm on Twitter at Alicia Malone, and I'll see you soon. Bye.